Good evening and welcome back. So we're in the quarterfinal of the Europa League. First leg against Arsenal away. If you watched the last video, massive disappointment. Semi-leg defeat in the Copa del Rey against Atletico Madrid. How we didn't win that match, I don't know. But we've got to pick ourselves up and keep this run continuing in this competition. Pretty sure this is the first time I've played at the Emirates Stadium in this game. It's, uh, they've done it justice. Probably the biggest match of our career so far. I know we had that final loss in the Copa del Rey against uh, Real Madrid. No. Barcelona, sorry, in our first season. Um, and that was, you know, our biggest match at that point. But in Europe, against Arsenal at the Emirates, I know it's only the quarterfinals, but this just feels massive. I'm just going to skip that a little bit. But yeah, disappointing to lose in the semi finals. I really thought we we're going to win it this year. So, again, Gonna have to wait till at least season three before we win the Copa del Rey. I mean, we've already pretty much, you know, we've got the league tied up. But those uh, knockout tournaments, they just, it just takes one bad game or a bit of bad luck. And I think we had both. Castro, who's actually starting on the right today. Got Xerxes up top and Castro on the right, just trying something a little bit different. Xerxes, oh, what a save that was. Absolute instinct reaction save. Now, can we make something out of this corner? No. <laughs> Come on, quickly take it. Quickly take it. Right, here's Emerson. Good ball. And Xerxes couldn't get onto it. But it comes back to Emerson. Xerxes, 1 0. Get the breakthrough early this time. That should settle some nerves. And this is the sort of look we didn't get in the last match. The ball comes back to Emerson. Not like just, you know, a, a bit of good run of the ball. A nice little lay back to Xerxes and the decision to start Xerxes up top. And I also nearly dropped Emerson as well and nearly put uh, McDowell on just to give him a rest. But those choices have paid off already. But Arsenal, very strong squad. So we really want to get the single. Of course, Martinelli playing against the, his former club. That's a terrible tackle. Should get a yellow card for that when the ball goes out. Unfortunately, I know how good their squad is, Arsenal, because... Um, my team, Newcastle, just played them in the league and uh, ended up losing. Here's Vieira. Of course, he used to play for Arsenal as well. Emerson. Nice little ball to the back stick. Martinelli couldn't quite get onto it. That was a very good tackle. That was uh, not a foul. Anyway, Vieira. Uh, good block there. Thought Zerxes was in. And for some reason, the referee played advantage and then decided not to, even though they had the ball. And we've actually got Mariba in that uh, deeper midfield role today in place of Ferreira. 
Oh, come on, that was just shoulder to shoulder. Got the ball. The referee's been softer than usual. That's saying something. Here's Xerxy. Pierre, Martinelli now. Now Castro in acres of space. Xerxy. Oh, should have scored. Now Emerson. Oh, and hits the side netting. Well, it probably should have been 3 0. By this stage, let's just hope that doesn't uh, come back to bite us. And we've got our second choice man, Dander and Goal. Good strength by Xerxes there. Ah, oh, that's a poor pass. I was going to say he might get it back. And Cousins loses out. He's not the uh, biggest player. Good defending there. And back even comes away with it. Can we get a counter attack going on here? Martinelli. That's a heavy pass. No wonder he couldn't control it. How is that a yellow card? How come I got absolutely scythed down earlier on and they didn't get a yellow card? And for a little push over there. <sighs> this game sometimes, I love it, but it's also infuriating with, well, refereeing especially. Refereeing, I suppose it's hard to get right in the game, isn't it? Refereeing. Martinelli to Xerxes. Back to Martinelli now. Nice play to Mariba. Now Castro. 2-0. What a lovely team goal that was. Kept being patient. Martinelli here. Played it into Mariba who was advancing pretty far up the pitch. Nice ball into Castro but he's got it all to do. There's about four Arsenal players around him. Just finds enough space. Nice touch and a great finish. And just before half time as well, that's really what we needed. Arsenal haven't really been in the game. Had the odd sort of chance at a attack, but haven't created anything. Um but 1-0, you just never know. Now they're gonna have to probably attack quite a bit more. And that should open them up for the counter. That's a poor pass there. But Emerson gets it back. Mariba. Oh, it's three. Lovely finish on that angle, but what is the keeper doing? Again, Emerson gets a little bit of luck. He's had that all day today. Nice ball back. And a lovely finish, but the keeper will not be happy. No, I wouldn't be happy if I was Chesney. Is it Chesney that's on goal? I think it is. But yeah, Emerson, just every time he's, he's been advancing up the pitch, he's been doing great. He's playing more as a right winger, really. Um, and we haven't seen that enough from him this season. And 3 0 at half time. As you can see, yes, the majority of the possession, shots and goals, shots and target. They haven't really done anything. Yeah, I'd love to see Emerson do this more. Um, get pushed up the pitch a bit more, create things. He just has too many games where he, he just doesn't really do anything. And he's had a little bit of luck today, like I say, for the, 
The two goals that he's been massively involved in are the making subs early. Not surprised though. Saka's going off. And Kitty is coming on. But yeah, he's had a little bit of luck that he's lost the ball or he's played a pass and then it's come back to him. Um, and we weren't getting that in the last game, like I say. We got none of it. And here's Emerson again. And it's a nice ball. Oh, Martinelli just couldn't quite get over it. But again, uh, if Emerson doesn't get a 7, 7.5 at the end of this game, uh, well, it'll be wrong. He's been our probably most influential player so far. Oh, that's a risky tackle there. He got the ball, but no control whatsoever. And rush the keeper out. Happy I'll throw in. Yeah, I don't think Castro playing on the right's really done him justice. He's not really suited over there, is he? Um, oh, here's Cousins. Oh, that looked like a bit of a dodgy tackle, but never mind. Here's Baka. Oh, lovely ball into Martinelli. Should have scored. That was a heavy contact, which is not really like him. He's got a great touch normally. Thinking about making some subs soon. Nice play from Henry, but he's played pretty well today. Now Vieira. Vieira. Ah. Straight at the keeper, really. Oh, you're very unlucky. Man, Dan is like, what, what's going on? It's not me. Well, it was you. So we're going to take off Xerxy, put on Bajer, put him on the right, Ruben Castro up top. Harrington's going to come in for Vieira, and we are going to take back off with me and on a yellow card. Teixeira with acres of space. Oh, it's terrible from Teixeira. I know he's just come on, but it's so much space, and that uh, touch was <laughs> horrendous. He won't get it, but for me, Emerson's been man of the match. Very much doubt you'll get that. Here's Bajer. Oh, what a finish. What a lovely finish on the youngster. A nice ball from Castro. First touch is key there. Amazing finish, though. Yes, his first touches, opens up his body and just powers around the keeper. Again, where was that in the last game, eh? Never mind. Love to win this European competition. Because hopefully this is the only time we're going to be in the Europe League. You know, the rest of the time we want to be in the Champions League. Harrington, that's not a great ball. No, Pajer's just come back on, but he's never going to win that. Nice tackle from Teixeira. Cousins, he has been, he's been a little bit absent in this game. Here's Castro. Pajer, oof. They got very lucky. Whoever that, I think it was Tierney. He went siding in for a tackle and just missed me. Otherwise, that would have been a definite pen. Teixeira. Oh, my word. What a strike. And that was a layoff from Emerson. That would have been another assist. Look at that little side, outside of the foot pass there, but what a strike. Oh, it's such a shame that didn't go in. That would have been a potential goal of the season there. It's 
It's a poor pass though. So is that. Come on, don't get sloppy now. Don't know why they insist on showing replays for every single foul. I wish you could turn that off. Right, Hampton wins the ball. What can he do? Well, he loses it. Very heavy touch. Wow, what is Martinelli doing there? Absolute waste of a chance there. It's alright going for the shot, but that was just not from there. Here's Castro. He's got no energy left. Should have probably passed it. Castro again. This touch is heavy. I think that's just the energy. Oh, lovely little ball. A little bit unlucky there. There's a really nice attempt at a pass around the corner. And why did I do that with 10 seconds to go and get him a yellow card? That was just me being stupid. That's probably going to affect his rating as well. There's no danger. There it is, 4-0. Brilliant uh, first leg there. Yeah, absolutely dominant possession-wise and shots-wise. Arsenal were just not really in the game. And Emerson getting a seven, so yeah, I said seven and a half. Should have got probably that yellow card, dropped it down a little bit, but very good performance. Me personally, I thought he was my man of the match. Mariba was fantastic, I agree. Castro and Xerxes were, were pretty good. Castro not up to his normal best, but that's because he wasn't in his favourite position. You could see that he had a lot more influence when he was up top. Morinelli, a bit quiet in that game. And that's it for today, guys. Next match is at home to LJ in the league. And then we've got the return of Arsenal coming to our stadium. Hopefully we'll get through to the semi-finals in that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.